Okay, using the unit circle, calculate cos of minus pi minus 7 pi over 2 and sine of minus 7 pi over 2. So several things happening here. Minus means we're going to be winding around clockwise. And the 7 pi over 2 is bigger than 2 pi, which is an, an ordinary full revolution. So I think we're going to be rotating around the circle several times. So let's get it going. So let's do the same kind of pattern as we've seen already. So I'm thinking about what's going to happen to the unit circle, what my position on the unit circle is, sorry. What my position on the unit circle is when I've rotated around appropriately. So minus 7 pi over 2. So let's just have a little moment. So minus 7 pi over 2. So that's equal to 7 times minus pi over 2. And what's pi over 2? Pi over 2 is a right angle. So what we're going to do is rotate 7 times around the unit circle. We're going to rotate 7 times clockwise with a right angle. So once, twice, three times, four times, five times, six times, seven times. So let's just wrap our heads around what's just happened. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Around to there. So that's minus seven pi over two. So this is my position on top. What is that position? That position is 0, 0,1. So instantly I know cosine of minus, goodness gracious me, minus 7 pi over 2. That's the x coordinate. That's equal to 0. And sine sine is 1. Sine is 1. So, got to do it using the unit circle, in my opinion. At least that's the most elementary way to do it. There are other ways to do it, once we really know properties of sine and cos, but I think this is the, the safest plan.